place the statue of Clarence Thomas on this grounds, we cannot avoid that conversation, so I'm not going to avoid it either. And Uncle Tom sold his soul to the slave masters. This video is brought to you by TatumStore.com. TatumStore.com. Ladies and gentlemen, you can get the links. And, and also, you can buy the products right from the bottom of this particular video. You can actually get them in any video that I have now that they're synchronized. But you can go on to the Officer Tatum Store or Tatum Store. I shortened it up so you didn't have to type all that. Or you can hit the link in the description section. All you have to do is put in discount code that's on the screen. And use that discount code to get 20% off. The discount code is flashing on the screen as I'm speaking. Use that discount code to get 20% off Tatum's store. Make sure you go shop today. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get a notifi notification anytime I go live make a video. Make sure you still subscribe to the channel. Like this video. Comment on this. this video. Let's get into this. Uh, Georgia Senator. And people talk about me talking about black folks. But this is disgusting. Georgia State Senator Emmanuel Jones calls Justice Thomas an Uncle Tom and that he sold his soul to the slave master. Listen to this fool, clip one. Place the statue of Clarence Thomas on this grounds. We cannot avoid that conversation, so I'm not going to avoid it either. In the black community, we have uh, an expression, and I don't want to use this label too deeply here because I'm just trying to tell you what we have in the African-American community, when we talk about a person of color that goes back historically to the days of slavery and that person betraying his own community, we have a term in the black community. That term that we use is called uh, Uncle Tom. And Uncle Tom is a, either a fictional or non-fictional character. I don't really know the origin of Uncle Tom, but it talks about a person who back during the days of slavery sold his soul to the slave masters you can't make this up y'all you can't you can't make this up but these are the people that 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 people of african descent are voting for this man don't even know what uncle tom stands for he don't even understand the story behind uncle tom uncle tom was actually the hero in uncle tom's cabin the book he was the hero he was the one trying to help his people and to this day, I, I, I can't believe we still do this. To this day, black folks are ignorant enough to disparage another black man invoking the name Uncle Tom. He was the hero. Read a freaking book that tells you that half of these people don't know what they're talking about. Clarence Thomas is an exceptional man. And I, you don't have to agree with him politically, but, but to say that Justice Thomas is not a man of honor and should not be honored with all of his years of service, especially on the Supreme Court, representing black people well, show me a controversy. Show me somewhere where, where Clarence Thomas is getting impeached and all this other stuff. Clarence Thomas has been an honorable man for a very long time. Black people should be proud of Clarence Thomas. You don't have to agree with him politically. You should be proud of a man that came from where he came and became who he is today. I'm inspired by Clarence Thomas. And Clarence Thomas was doing this when it wasn't cool. Clarence Thomas been doing this back when people really didn't respect or like the fact that that brother was in the position he was in. But now the Klan and the white supremacists and the racists don't have to do anything because we do it to ourselves. That's a black man there talking about Clarence Thomas. Honorable Clarence Thomas. It, it baffles me at the foolery of, of these people who are serving. And this person, particularly in the Georgia State Senate, serving, voted on by black people, counseling another black man because he haven't followed the course of action led to him by liberals, white liberals at that. The funny thing is, in one minute, I got to finish this statement. But the funny thing is, is that they often call us the sellouts. They often call us the race haters and we hate ourselves. But they are the ones that are voting for politicians that are acting outside of their best interests. Y'all are the ones who are advocating to keep your mouth shut when black folks are killing each other every day. 
Y'all the ones want the government to control education. You don't want freedom of, of educational choice. Y'all are the ones pushing abortion and the young black women are having more abortion than anybody else per capita, destroying the black community. You the sellout. We ain't the sellouts. Hold the phone. I'll be back after the break. <laughs> 